shocking breaking news blackrock the real estate giant in massive massive trouble hey everybody scott walters welcome to the channel if you're new i want to thank you for coming if you're returning i want to thank you for your continued support before we get into today's red hot topic i'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i would love to hear from you please watch to the end for my final thought hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released it is very important to stay close to the channel in these very very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. Always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, BlackRock, the real estate giant, massive, massive trouble. Today, we're going to unpackage another barn burner. Buckle up and strap in. Hang on to your hats and glasses. This one's going to be insanity doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result is in fact the definition of what you guessed it insanity we've done this before we're doing it again we let the housing market get into bubble behavior and now it's starting to fracture and crack and collapse on itself so today we're going to take a look at what's going on in one of our most euphoric cities that got way out of hand and now is basically crashing and crumbling a real estate investment firm, Wall Street, BlackRock, drank the real estate Kool-Aid along with everybody else on Wall Street. This big financial institution is now extremely exposed, trying to liquidate inventory, get it off the books before they go into full-blown bankruptcy. This is insane. And here's the challenge. And what we're looking at today, friends, and if you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Get forward thinking, critical thinking, centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some iron today, friends. The realities are this. The at, we've already talked about this. The at-risk areas of the nation. And, this, and today's bubble is going to be much different than yesterday's bubble. You can just throw the playbook out on yesterday's bubble, 08 or wherever you want to pull from. This one is much, much more different. Contagion is going to be a big, it's going to be like a flash crash. It's going to move fast, fast, fast. This was artificial market manipulation, friends. No organic growth in these markets. People drank the Kool-Aid. They were completely just mesmerized by the euphoria. Out of touch with reality because of the polarizing event that we got thrown into through a crisis and lockdown environment completely messed with people's psyches. So the realities are, is as all these Wall Street and big heavy hitters drank the Kool-Aid and came piled in buying land, constructing homes, paying massive amounts of money to get these homes constructed with supply chain issues, paying massive lumber prices, they have their margins are very small. And what's happening now, they're liquidating at losses. They're throwing stuff overboard. Today, we're going to look at BlackRock, one of their holdings in Boise, Idaho, which is an area leading the charge in the potential crash. And they'll have a spillover effect. It's just like I talked about, contagion, like a wildfire. It's going to start visiting other surrounding areas and making its way all around the nation. Nobody's safe in this one. No one is safe in this next real estate downturn. A lot of people minimizing the severity of what's going on. That part I get because it happened in the last bubble. People minimize the severity. No crash risk here. We don't anticipate this one to be as bad as 2008. Blah, 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 blah. I've heard it all before. I don't buy it on any of it. Buckle up and strap in. So let's go ahead and roll this footage, drive our point home. Then we're gonna meet back here and wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, welcome to Boise, Idaho. Let's head on over to today's property. And here's the area's crash map, courtesy of Zillow. Every single property that we're looking at is going through price reductions. And here's our builder's model home. As we can see, it's staged to perfection. It's in fact a FOMO home designed to get you to tour through and pay top dollar. But those times have come and gone. And for the people that did drink that Kool-Aid, that went in and got FOMO'd into one of these deals, they didn't get this house. They got this house. A stripped down shell of the home they toured, looking nothing like what they remembered. Absolutely rug pulled, sandwiched in between their neighbors in a home that needs a bunch of finishes. Now let's read the builder's FOMO factory description. The Avondale is like nothing you've ever seen. This spacious single level floor plan features unique lines and angles, making this home feel like a one of a kind. The Avondale includes a versatile three bedroom that would also make a great home office for an increasingly work from home world. Well, my friends, I think that world is actually changing. Now let's keep going. 
And as we can see right now, the property is priced at $579,000. Offered by our good friends, the builder over at Black Rock Homes. Originally had the property on the market and selling for $725,000, which most of the neighbors paid that exact same price. Now the price is tanking down to five seventy nine, dollars and I'm sure their offer won't even warrant that number. They're already taking a $145,000 haircut, absorbing, eliminating, wiping out any profits they may have had. This thing is in massive, massive trouble. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So that's what's happening to our good friends, Black Rock over in Boise, Idaho. And that's just what, listen, friends, it's like throwing a dart at a map. You can hit those types of neighborhoods everywhere. These are FOMO factory driven developments. They build, they build model homes, right? With all the different models. Stage them immaculately. So when you come, this is what was happening in the bubble here, in the bubble. Walking in and paying, asking, over asking. And then you, by the time you get your home, it looks nothing like the model home, it's some shell packed in like a sardine on some street buried in the back 40. That's what's happening. So now what we're seeing is a liquidation of these. When you see a property that was almost $800,000 at the height of the, of the boom, like this one we looked at today, now in the fives, we're getting to those 50% off their appraised values. And here's the biggest challenge with this thing, friends. This is huge. This is massive. Let's say you bought in the height in that neighborhood, and now you're watching this the developer, the builder, selling those homes at a fraction of what you paid. Even if you have a low interest rate, that doesn't help you. Your property values are being dragged down. So now you don't own your home anymore. It owns you because you can no longer sell the home for what they're currently selling for. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life, understanding this is a big old fat housing bubble we're in and the air is coming out. This one could in fact be a flash crash. We'll probably have to throw the playbook out and really monitor the health of this market as we move forward. I know many people now, we've talked about this before, that have been around with the channel. As soon as mainstream media gets a hold of these narratives, it's a nail in the coffin. What are, is mainstream media reporting on now? recession, housing crash, blah, blah, blah. If it bleeds, it leads. They're gonna to continue to run with this. But the reality is, is that's in fact what's happening. Our job is to stay ahead of this thing, insulate ourselves with, with cash and, and be as financially fit as possible. Like I've always said, save your cash for the crash, save it for a rainy day, save it for whatever you need to save it for because it looks like there's gonna be some massive buying opportunity right around the corner. Stay tuned as I continue to monitor the health of this one because it's not only what you guys need, it's in fact what you deserve. If you appreciate the content, I do wanna humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, there's an email in the description for you as well. I have a network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist. If you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're gonna love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.